The world's largest dating app, Tinder, has just released their very own Explore page. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the complete rundown of everything you need to know about this new feature. What's going on guys, it's Wingman Plus. Welcome back to another video. I'm your go-to source for everything Tinder. So if you haven't yet, make sure you pound that like button and subscribe so you never miss a new video. Today, we're gonna to be covering the brand new Explore feature that Tinder just rolled out worldwide. I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough and break down everything you need to know about this feature to use it to your advantage. So make sure you stick around to the very end of the video. So the Tinder screen used to consist of just kind of four screens. It would have the main, you know, Tinder menu where you just swipe through people. It'll have the Tinder gold section where it will show, you know, your likes and your top picks. It would have all of your matches and chats, and then it would have kind of your profile area. But now they've added this fifth screen in the very middle, and it's basically their version of the explore page like you'd see on TikTok. Instagram and Snapchat. This is a really interesting move by Tinder, which is the world's largest dating app. It looks like they're branching out kind of away from dating and slowly getting their users used to using Tinder for things other than just dating by adding this explore feature. And I get the vibe that over time, they're gonna start to add new features built into this explore that would include, you know, social media posts and other type of content as well. Tinder has been slowly building up a roster of content creators like Noah Beck and other TikTokers for a while now. So I wouldn't be surprised if they integrated all of the content they've been shooting with all those influencers and put it onto their Explore page to get people to use their app for longer periods of time. So that's my prediction right off the bat just by looking at the layout of this. Looks like there's a lot of opportunity for them to integrate their content into the platform here. But without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty and the walkthrough of this platform. So first off, there's a function called Photo Verified. And basically it means you can only see verified members, which is really clutch because quite frankly, one of the biggest complaints that guys will have is that there's a lot of catfishes on there. There's a lot of like fake accounts pretending to be girls that aren't really the person on Tinder. So that's a really cool feature. So let's try that out. All right, so it basically looks like a normal Tinder menu, except it's got kind of a cool gradient background. And now it's just people who are verified. So that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people who aren't verified yet are gonna see this and it's probably gonna be kind of that final push to get verified on Tinder. Honestly, if you're using Tinder and you're not verified at this point, what are you doing? Like there's a lot of people who won't even consider swiping right at all unless you're verified just for safety purposes and you know, not to waste their time. So I really like this feature. This is really cool. Now, if we swipe right here a little bit, there's also a hot take section. And that's basically a live chat game that breaks the ice with someone new. This is a feature that they've had for a while, but it's kind of been at the top of the chat screen. So it's cool to see it integrated into Tinder uh, Explore in this new way. I won't go too deep into hot takes in this video. That's probably something that I could probably make an entire other video about. So if you guys want to see me do a live demonstration of hot takes in the future, let me know down in the comments below. Um, so if we scroll through the rest of the Explore page here, now we have kind of welcome to Explore. And it's this section called My Vibe. And this is kind of cool. It's basically depending on what you're looking for on Tinder, you can basically explore four different options that kind of suit your preference of what you're looking for. So the first section being looking for love, which the timing couldn't be better just in time for cuffing season. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very popular part of the explore page this month and going forward in the next couple months. There's also a free tonight tab. And this is where I think a lot of the hookup type people are going to be on on Tinder. Basically people who are like, hey, maybe my date bailed. Maybe I'm bored, like who's down to chill tonight and do something fun? I feel like that's where there's gonna be a lot more fun, flirty, playful conversations. And uh, you know, ideally a good time if it works out for you on Tinder. There's also a let's be friends section. So if you're looking to get friend zoned on Tinder for whatever reason, that's probably the tab for you. And lastly, a coffee date section, which I think is kind of a good middle of the road between looking for love and free tonight. It's like, hey, if you're not blatantly trying to hook up, but also not really trying to find your soulmate on Tinder, and you're just looking to go with the flow and see how things go, coffee date is probably a good spot. Now I'm filming this at about 7 p.m. and I'm looking for something to do tonight. So why don't we hit up free tonight and see what it's like? I think because the feature is so new, a lot of people aren't on Tinder yet to be trying free tonight. So we'll come back later to that one, but let's try coffee date and see if anyone's there. All right, so we do have some people in coffee date. And just like that, went through one swipe and we're out of people in coffee date. So we'll go back to explore and try hey, let's try looking for love. Let's see if I can find, you know, my soulmate on Tinder Explore. And three swipes later, we're out of people in looking for love. 
So let's go over to, let's be friends. You know, let's see what the girls who are trying to friend zone me look like. All right, so only one user was in there. And basically when you're out of people to look for, it tries to prompt you to go back to the photo verified section. And it makes sense. A lot of people on Tinder are already photo verified. So before the Explorer page gets too much user adoption, a lot of the people are gonna be just swiping within this photo verified section. In an effort to get this video out as fast as possible while it was trending, I pretty much hopped on here like the second the update came out. So understandably, there's not a ton of people within those four sections, but I believe as Tinder kind of promotes this and users start to play around with the function a little bit more, we're gonna find a lot more people are using the Explore function and you probably shouldn't run out of swipes if you're in kind of a major city area. All in all, I think this feature is really cool. If you've ever watched some of my Tinder walkthrough videos, you'll see that I'm constantly asking girls what they're looking for on Tinder. You're cute. What are you looking for on here? And the cool thing about this explore function is it's kind of handling the intention check for you right off the bat. Rather than playing the guessing game of going through a bit of small talk and figuring out what people are looking for on Tinder, this is gonna give you a pretty good idea right away and kind of get rid of that you know, tension, which may or may not be a good thing. I mean, a little bit of tension is good. It's a good way to start a conversation, but I wanna know what you guys think about the new Explore feature. Comment your thoughts, opinions, and perspectives on this new feature down in the comments of this video. And while you're down there, make sure you pound the like button and hit subscribe. Until next time, peace.